Good morning. Today is Wednesday, January 11th. I'm Damian White with my associate Todd Graff, and this is the Gold Spot. Okay, well, let's just start right out. Happy New Year, everybody. We're here in the January 11th. So we're approaching um, a hot inflationary consumer price index number that's coming out tomorrow as we lead into the Federal Reserve meeting at the end of this month, kind of dictating their, their monetary policy as we head into the new year. Um, there's definitely not a shortage of excitement as we head into this new year, but what we have been seeing is a transition from more traditional paper assets into hard assets. We've been seeing that over the last couple of years from our clients, and we're starting to see it now, and there's been a lot of news coming about about the accumulation of gold globally um, from central banks and governments as well. So we're trying to dig into a little bit about what that means and why that's happening. Todd, do you um, have any input from your clients? Can you extrapolate a little bit on what's kind of going on um, and why this change is happening? Yeah, thanks, Damien. So what we've been seeing a lot recently, the World Gold Council came out with a new report that stated that central banks are buying gold at the fastest pace in 55 years. So. And the last 55 years, uh, 1967, they were buying a lot of gold because of what was going on in the world at the time. And the, uh, the Bretton Woods, the petrodollar, and of course, uh, a few years after that, the U.S., we took ourselves off the gold standard. Um, so central banks are starting to buy a lot more gold, and that's an indicator that a lot of countries are trying to move away from the U.S. dollar and the monetary system. So they're buying gold as a a store of value and a safe haven to protect their own currencies or possibly back their their currencies with gold at some point. Um, I know a lot of people are speculating that China will be doing that as well. And China is one of the countries that's buying the most gold recently. I know the, the last quarter of 2022, they increased their gold buying very significantly. Um, so I think this is just a, a large trend we're seeing where you know, countries around the world are starting to move away from the U.S. dollar as a reserve currency that has huge implications for everybody here in the United States and for anybody that invests any sort of money, whether it's you know, any asset, if it's tied to the dollar, is going to be affected by this. You know, I'm sure you're seeing a lot of stuff as well with your clients and seeing this change as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think people are starting to wake up to the fact that this bifurcation is starting to happen where the dollar and the Western economies are going to start having a lot less control over global assets and global economies. And so, you know, that direction is, is not something that happens quickly. Um, and it, it's going to be a major change that people need to prepare for in their portfolios because the financial shock that we saw over the last you know 12 to 15 months is still reverberating through people's portfolios and, and a loss of wealth effect. And, and the, the countries and even hostile countries are really trying to get away from, you know, everything that we that we've known over the last, like you said, five, six, seven decades. So, you know, I think it's important that everybody start to preserve their own assets and diversify into, into something that's tangible and something that's hard. And I believe that, you know, the old adage is, don't listen to what they say, but watch what they're doing. And that's exactly what's happening from central banks around the world. And it's just something to prepare for. So buckle up. It's going to be another year, 2023. It could be a rocky ride. We'll see you next time.